A new report shows children are more likely to drown while swimming in inland waterways like rivers, creeks and dams. The stats also show children are five times more likely to drown in regional areas throughout WA rather than in Perth. To tell us more, Lauren Nimmo from the Royal Life Saving Society WA joins us. Good morning to you, Lauren. Good morning. Uh, of course, we are a, a state of beach lovers here in WA, but uh, more drownings in rivers and dams. What are the dangers there? I think people are really surprised to find out that more people here in Western Australia drowned in our rivers and dams and creeks than at our beaches. And I think a lot of people aren't aware of the risks and dangers that exist at these locations because our rivers do look quite calm and safe on the surface, but there are those dangers that lurk underneath the water and people may not be aware of those. Well, speaking of uh, looking calm and, uh, and pretty innocuous, uh, Applecross there behind you, the Swan River looks beautiful and flat this morning, but it's actually one of the most dangerous parts of the Swan River. Can you tell us why? Look, we see drowning deaths occur across the Swan River, but we have seen a few incidents around here in Applecross. Um, as I said, it looks beautiful and calm in the background, but there are those dangers that lurk under the water, like submerged objects, uh, steep drop-offs in, in water depth, and also cold water and strong currents. So people really need to make sure they're aware of that and also learn what to do if they do get into trouble. The report out today, Lauren, also shows that kids in remote WA are more at risk. Why is that? We do see children at five times more risk of drowning when they're in regional and remote areas and I think it's mainly due to the increased access to a range of water locations including those inland waterways um, and also the risk of them not being as likely to participate in programs such as learn to swim um, and also in remote areas they're far from um, help if an emergency does arrive so there is that delay in emergency services attending. Just finally, Lauren, summer's approaching, going to be a lot of kids in the water very soon. Obviously prevention is uh, the best way forward here. How, uh, how, how young should, be, should parents be looking to uh, get their kids in the water and teach them, them to swim? Prevention is certainly the best way to go when we look at how to prevent children in particular from drowning and getting them involved in water familiarisation and learn to swim programs from a really young age, even as young as six months old, to get them confident in the water is really important and probably the biggest investment any parent can make to ensure that their child stays safe. But it's also important that they learn to swim in a variety of locations such as in the river as well so that they have skills to deal with those different environments as well. All right, some great advice, Lauren Nimmo. Thank you very much for your time this morning.